Conventional heating and cooling systems rely on fuels like oil, gas, or electric, carbon fuels. The distribution systems are also very inefficient. So for the Greenwich House, I wanted to find a much greener solution. Site constraints prevented us from installing a solar system. Also, town regulations did not allow for wind power. So what did we choose? We decided to reach deep into the earth and install a geothermal heating and cooling system. But the decision wasn't easy. It seems there are engineers in favor and many opposed. There isn't even consensus on the cost of geothermal technology. With me today is Bill Weinberg. He's the owner of AmHack. You guys installed our geothermal systems. How do you see the benefit? We're standing atop one of the best benefits. Even though we drill down 450 feet, it's totally underground, it's totally invisible, and it will never have to be bothered with again. Are there any secondary benefits? Lifestyle. We're outside in beautiful Greenwich. It's quiet. There's no outdoor units making noise. It's really a wonderful system. Now to one of the most confusing parts of it all. What are the costs of the system? It does probably cost 30% more than a conventional hydro air system. However, the federal government recognizes its efficiency and gives you a 30% tax credit. In addition, in the state of Connecticut, there's even more tax credits, as many other states have. So it ends up costing no more, and yet you can save 35% of the operating cost. And that's fantastic because now you have a superior system, better efficiency, same cost. That's it. So with me today is Steve Hall. And uh, Steve, you are not such a fan of geothermal. I think geothermal uh, can work in the right situation, the right circumstance, but I think that air source heat pumps are going to be replacing geothermal as the most efficient system. So for the efficiency reason or why? Efficiency, cost, architectural flexibility. Architectural flexibility, meaning you can put them any place, basically. That's right. You don't have to run uh, extensive duct systems throughout the house. So your main criticism of geothermal is the cost. It's, it's primarily the cost, and the great advantage that it did have was the investment tax credit, which has now been vastly diminished by probably two-thirds. Uh, which had always seemed to favor it over uh, other systems. So we still have federal and state taxes here that kind of bring it back into the realm of normal HVAC expenditure. Yes. After a lot of research and review of the available federal and state tax incentives, I'm convinced a geothermal system is the absolute right choice for our Greenwich House. Bill, tell me what are all these pipes and what are these components? So we're bringing water from the wells, circulating it through these HDPE pipes, high density polyethylene, to cool and heat the rejection heat from the geothermal heat pump. Here we're bringing in the earth coupled water from the wells that we drilled at 50 to 60 degree constant temperature. And is that enough to really heat the house? That was one of my concerns. With the heat pump, we can build it up to the temperatures 90 to 120 degrees that we need to heat the home. The Department of Energy rates these units to last 24 years, which is about double what an outdoor unit would last. So that's also a benefit on cost over the long term for sure. Huge cost savings and you just don't have to deal with replacing the units and the disruption and the cost. And you do have a boiler backing up this whole system. Tell me a little more about that. So any heat pump has a defrost cycle and it needs to have backup heating. 
We're doing a 95% natural gas fired boiler, which provides that defrost cycle. Mm -hmm. It also provides 100% redundancy. If the unit's ever down, you'll never know it. It heats the home. It also provides the capability for radiant heating and domestic hot water. Geothermal heating and cooling is a great choice. When you look at the efficiency and the overall real cost, I am convinced this was the right choice for us and I think it might be for you as well. Check it out for yourself.